this is Esmeralda. Welcome to my YouTube video today. I'm actually going to be talking about the new book. Well, I think it is a new book. But either way, I got the audiobook instead because I've been really busy lately and I just needed to really listen to a good book. And I don't know why I was like, oh my gosh, this would be a perfect book because I've been wanting to get it. Um, but it's called The Last Black Unicorn by Tiffany Haddish. Um, she, this is basically how it looks. If you guys can see it right here. She looks absolutely stunning in the cover. And I really, really love it. Um, she does explain a little bit the title, um, not inadvertently saying like, oh, the title is because of this, but now I think I understand because of her childhood. Um, but this book, you guys, oh my goodness. Um, the audio, the actual audio version of it, um, the narrator is actually her herself, um, Tiffany Haddish. So I feel like she really took me in her story and it's weird because when you're reading a book, you usually read a book and you're like, oh, okay, you know, so you're kind of reading it in your own mind and how you would kind of perceive it or hear it or whatnot. And you start imagining how that would be. Um, oh, no, she the way she reads it is just like you guys will find it so enjoyable, especially if you guys like audiobooks. This would be perfect if you have never, ever, ever had an audiobook or listened to an audiobook. Um, I recommend to start off with this book. It is. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit more, um, goodness, how do you speak? It's definitely not for children, put it that way. Definitely, definitely, definitely not a children's book. It's definitely an adult book. Um, but this is basically the biography of, um, Tiffany Haddish. And if you want something that's funny, quirky, but at the same time emotional because it does get, I mean, with most biographies, you kind of get a little bit emotional when you really know the full story of the person of how they became and everything they're struggling and whatnot. Um, you're definitely going to enjoy this book. I think this would be a great book to start off doing audiobooks because this is just, oh my gosh, it was, I had so, so much fun. I mean, I found myself doing the dishes and laughing, cooking and laughing and also feeling really like, oh my gosh, like torn and kind of hurt. I mean, you, you get a lot of emotions to be honest with you. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. You get so much, so much emotions. So, okay. So in this book, just to give you guys an idea, I am going to play a little bit of it. And I it's just like very teeny weeny bit of it. Only because I want you guys to hear her voice. And just imagine her reading her book. And just how fun it was. You know? Well, not everything was fun. Just to be clear. Okay? But let's see. Tiffany Haddish. I would like to invite you to hear about a few of my experiences in life so far. I know that a lot of these stories will seem unbelievable. I look back over my life and I'm like, for real, that happened? Either you will cry or laugh. I try my best to figure out how to do the second one. That's how I like to think of my life. All my wins are lessons and all my failures are lessons that will one day become wins. Yeah. I decided to... I do not own any rights to this audio. But I just wanted to basically show you guys a little, little piece of this audiobook and just how, how she actually reads it is literally how I can imagine her life being. Like, this is so, so good. Now, a lot of pointers about this book. There's a lot of good parts on it. There's some serious things in there as well. But it definitely starts off with like, I can see why she became a comedian and why she, um... She found her voice through comedy, basically. A lot of the things um, that happened in her life, um, she was able to somehow figure out a way to turn it into comedy and to kind of embrace it as she did, you know? Um, not everything was rainbows and unicorns for her. <laughs> so I think this book, I'm gonna give you guys really quickly, like maybe three couple of things that um, I noticed that really stood out in this book. One, of course, was her youth and how she got about in high school. I mean, everything that happened in high school and how like, oh my gosh, crazy it was, as well as her household. How um, it actually was at times a bit dysfunctional. But she did embrace that and she did embrace her history and everything. So it did get a little bit like, oh shoot, you know, like that really blows. Um, 
but I loved how she always saw the brighter things of things, which kind of makes us think, or well, at least for me, makes me think that maybe I need to stop thinking so much about the negative and maybe start thinking about a positive and start moving forward, you know, because if she could do it, I think a lot of people can. Uh, but yeah, so on chapter seven, oh my gosh, that whole chapter had me rolling. Like, not had me rolling is only just laughing, but just in general, that whole idea, because she does bring that up in some of her comp. Um, comedy skits and stuff like that um you guys have to read it. I can't tell you guys what it is but it is pretty funny and I think hearing her actually say the words um brings everything to life because when you read it you don't really think of it in your head you know of how it might I mean as a reader someone who really reads a lot you do kind of picture a way of of how certain things are said or or how a person might have act like you, you're imagining that with her audiobook and the way that she says it and then it really like brings everything like to perspective a lot more. Now I do have to point out that chapter 7, it may trigger some people to be a little bit upset but I would really say you know just take it lightly. Um, I can see where she's coming from but at the same time I can see how someone can get a little bit offended um, by her audiobook on chapter 7 because of the way it was but she's a common comedy person and at the end of the day um she embraces it basically she embraces that whole scenario and everything and you'll see at the very end just how much she actually really did appreciate and love and cherish this person um so yeah just make sure you read it thoroughly you know you do read the book but if you actually hear the audio i just hope you don't get as offended because i can see how someone can get offended but i also see that i don't think she meant it in in that context the way she um says it so i think it was a very fun but yet like okay i can totally see where she probably viewed this as a possibility to even put in a county because it, i mean who would believe something like that would happen to be honest with you um so yeah so that's with that chapter now it starts to get a little serious i'm not gonna talk too much about it but the fact that she actually had to start off with the disclaimer on it comes to tell you just how serious things are um i will touch up on what exactly is about um which is domestic violence she just touches on some very touchy subjects and it can get a little bit heartbreaking and emotional uh, but at the same time made me understand that you know what domestic violence is serious and she does bring that up and she does want to really emphasize that you seek help if you need it um and then how she actually overcame it or, or what she had to do to deal with that situation in general now lastly just wanted to let you guys know this has been it's a very funny outgoing book if you guys can get the audio book it would be fantastic but if you guys want to read it go on ahead it's a, definitely a delightful book i actually give it five because i enjoyed every minute of that audio book for sure so if you guys are interested on in it definitely go on ahead and get it i think i would definitely go and pick up the actual hardcover or the paperback book of it just to have that in hand when i decide to pick it up because it was that good i really did enjoy it and though I got a little busy and I had to get the audiobook I really want to kind of sit down sometimes and just like get on my reading nook and just read it like I feel like I really would enjoy reading that book too as well if you guys like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and also if you would like to subscribe to see more content from me go right on ahead and that'll conclude my video toodles